Yeah, so uh, let's just talk about Gus Fitzgerald. You remember Gus? I do remember Gus. What do you remember about Gus? Not a lot. I remember he was a fisherman and a trapper and all of that. And I think he may have even been a buyer of fish. I can't really remember, but I know he lived right there in the jump. Not too far from where the Fitzgerald Bar was. And he was the father of Mr. John Fitzgerald and Cliff. And I think Fred Fitzgerald, too, who lived near him. Fred? Fred Fitzgerald. Okay. That's the only ones I remember. But I hung out with the boys, uh, Robert and John, who was known as Butch and Tony, and their sister, Anne. Of course, Larry and uh, Danny were around, but I didn't, they were very young, so didn't see a lot of them. They later had a couple of girls, Kim and Sandy, who I know now, but didn't know back then. Because they were either weren't born or they were born at the very end of my high school time. And the time that I was around the Fitzgeralds a lot. She said Gus is from Tennessee. No. Oh, Originally sick. from Tennessee. And then went to Arkansas? Uh, yeah. I don't recall any of that. I recall them being connected with some people in New Roads, but that may have not been the Fitzgerald. It may have been Mrs. Fitzgerald's sister only. Maybe that's why I was connected New Roads. I always assumed the fish arrows came from there, but maybe they did not. And I'm not sure where they met up and connected and got married. But uh, Mrs. Fitzgerald had another sister who was married to a goatee. That was Margaret and Janie, and they lived in Boothville. But those two sisters were connected, were sisters of the lady in New Rose. So, uh, but you thought Gus had something to do with the bar? I'm not sure if he was part owner or not. Uh, I'm sure I saw him in there a few times, but maybe the bar was just owned by Cliff and Mr. John. I really don't know the 